Hello and welcome to Shamrock Rovers Fan TV. Now the League of Ireland will be returning and before the league returns, Shamrock Rovers will be playing a friendly against Athlone Town in the Athlone Town Stadium. Today I'm going to be doing my match preview for the game, so let's get into this. Now I'm going with a 4-2-3-1 formation. I think in goal, Alan Manis will play. It will be very good to get the first team back playing together. Now I think... Near the end of the game, I have a good feeling Leon Pauls will come on. And I think Stephen Bradley will play Alamanis in goal because he is the number one keeper. And it will be a great time to get some of the players that haven't really got game time this year and won't get game time, some game time. Now at left back, I'm going with Sean Kavanagh, who has missed the start of the season during injury. And is one of the players that probably the break would have benefited because he hasn't missed too much. He did miss a couple of games, and very important games like Bowes and Dundalk. Um, but not too much, luckily. So I think he'll play. At right back, I think Joey O'Brien will play. He's He started off the season and did get injured against Cork City. And he did get injured against Bowes as well for the first game of the season. So I think he's been playing centre-back this year, and we have been playing five at the back. But I think I'd try out a four at the back for this game. And I think Joey O'Brien at right back. Now that's the first centre back. I'm going to go Roberto Lopez. Who has been brilliant when this season starts. Player of the month for overs in the opening month of the season. Scored a great header against Dundalk to make it 2-2. And he's been a great leader on the pitch. He's not the captain but acts like a leader. So that's why I'm having him in this squad. Now, beside Pico, we're going to have Lee Grace, who has been doing really well this year. He's mostly been playing in a three at the back with either Scales or O'Brien. So I think it would be a good chance to get him and Pico back together at the back with, with two full backs. Now, as the first midfielder, I'm going with Reese Marshall because I think this would be a great time to get him to play. He, he was a great signing, I think, at the start. I did a video talking about his signing, which I recommend going and checking out. Um, and I think it would be great to get him game time because he hasn't really got the game time. He started his debut. His debut was against Waterford, his debut in the league. And he scored a cracking goal, brilliant goal. So I think it would be great to get him game time. Now, beside Marshall, I'm going with Greg Bulger, who I think is a very good player. And I think is quite underrated. I did an interview with him on my Instagram, which I recommend go checking out. It was a good interview. And um, I really think he should start. There's, we've got really good midfielders. Dylan Watts, who is on the bench a lot. I think he'd make it into nearly any midfield. Maybe apart from Dundalk, they've got a very good midfield. But apart from that, any others. Aaron McInef and Gary O'Neill, two really good midfielders. But I think for this game, I'd go with Greg Bulger. Now, out on the left, I'm going with Brandon Kavanagh, who hasn't really played too much this season. He's played with the B team a lot and did well with the B team. Um, he's a very good young player, and I think in a few years he'll go over to England, and I think he'll smash it over there. He's a great player. Now, on the right, I'm going with Jack Byrne, who a lot of the time plays in the middle, but I'd like to see him out on the right this game just to see how he does. He has been playing on the right this year, but he's kind of been coming in. He scored a cracking goal against Dundalk, and he scored a very good goal as well against Sligo. Um, the last game we played until the the virus hit, um, and I think he's the best player in the league by far. Now in the middle, I'm going with Ronan Finn, who I think will captain the hoops. Very good player. He's been playing right wing back and right mid. Um a lot recently and um, the end of last season and the start of this season and I'd like to see what he could do in the middle because that's his natural position and I think he hasn't played there for a while so I think I'd like to see him play there. Now up front I think Rory Gaffney will start who was a new signing this year. I also did a video about his signing which you should go check that out and I think this will be a very good chance to get him in. He, he came on against Dundalk and he did quite well. He caused a bit of trouble and he also started against Sligo and I think he did very well. Now, I think Stephen Bradley, I think the changes he'd make, I think he is going to go with a five at the back and I think he'll have Ronan Finn as a, the right wing back. I think he'll have in the middle Joey O'Brien, Scales and 
actually Grace and uh, Roberto and then O'Brien. I think he'll have Neil Ferrugia out on the left. Jack Byrne out on the right. The two midfield, I think, will go with Bulger and McInef. Out on the left, Graham Burke. And up front, I think, will go with Gaffney, as I did. Now, my score prediction, I think it'll be 4-0 to Rovers. I don't think it'll be as heavy as it probably would if they were used to playing. They have got back to training now. But I think if they've been in, if it's just a normal league game, I think we would have steamrolled them 6-7-0. So I think very early on, maybe 20th minute, I think Lee Grace with a header will score. I think just before the second half, uh, just before a half time, I think, Jack, I think I think Jack Byrne will get a goal. Um, and then like 60th minute, I think, I think Bulger might get a goal this game. And then near the end, last 10 minutes, I think Graham Burke will come on and I think he'll score. Hope you enjoyed today's video. Please feel free to let me know your thoughts on the game in the comments below. Hope you enjoyed today's video and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.